Hey everybody, this is Ben from the Scout History Project. Um, I talked a little bit on some other patches about how to separate the background and um, get, make it to where it's perfectly white. Um, sometimes you have a patch like this uh, where the border is a light color. This is like a silvery uh, gray color. Um, and this presents a problem with most scanners because they have the white uh, backplate uh, scanner top. So, like you can see right here, this is really the detail. There's no contrast here at all. It's like almost the same color white as the background of the scanner. Now, over here, it has a little bit, but they're basically like the same type of colors. You're not going to be able to get enough contrast there to really do much with. So, in a case like this, probably it would be best to scan this uh, if you want to do it the uh, way that I showed you with levels. Uh, um, excuse me, the channels would be to um, scan on a black background. You could get like a black piece of construction paper or something like that and tape it to the back of your scanner. Uh, if you have a lot of these to do, um, like white border or very light colored border, um, or you can um, separate it out sort of manually uh, and I'll show you how to do that. In our layers palette, you have layers. We showed you channels. Now you also have paths. Um, and so I'm going to create a new path, and I'm going to grab my pen tool, which is right here. Um, and it's kind, it's kind of like the um, the polygonal um, lasso tool, uh, but it's a little bit different. Um, so you put down these points, and I'm just sort of clicking along the boundary here. And right now it looks a lot like the polygonal lasso tool. And I'll and, and the thing is, there's like a second step to this that, that makes it a little bit different. And I'll show you that in just a moment as soon as I get all these points laid out how I want them here. And I usually try to uh, go around these corners, not, not put one right in the middle of the corner. And uh, that gives me a little bit more flexibility in the second step, which I'm about to show you. Okay, so I've connected that up. Now I can grab my arrow tool, and I want to get this direct selection tool, which is the sort of white colored arrow. Now if I click here, um, no, actually, I want to get uh, this tool, the convert uh, point tool. It's underneath the pen tool, so I have to hold down and select that. And um, so now what I can do is I can take these little handles on each point and adjust them to the curve of the patch. Um, so I just I just take each one and sort of adjust it independently and this way I can get a really good trace around the patch um, so it just takes a moment and I can adjust each one separately So, pardon me while I <laughs> become really engrossed in what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, almost there. It's looking pretty good. Okay. Oops. Tiny adjustment here. I'm going to actually move this point. You can move the points after you've set them with your direct selection tool that I picked up a moment ago. Okay, I think that's pretty good. That line looks pretty good. So, um, as you can see, it labels it as path one automatically. That's fine. I don't need to change that. But I am going to, once I have it ready, I'm going to click load path as selection. And so then that loads it as, as my selection. Now I'm going to come back over here to uh, my layers and do the same thing I did before um, and just apply a mask to that. And boom, uh, there we go. It, it looks pretty good. Now, um, I am going to put my white underneath here. I'll pull it down below. There we go. And you can see the edges are really pretty sharp. It looks kind of, it, you can tell that it, it, it's kind of like traced around. So uh, I'm going to take this and blur it just a little bit. I'm going to make sure and select my mask um, and go to blur. 
Gaussian blur and oops, I pushed that accidentally. I think that looks pretty good. If I hold down the space bar I can move this around by grabbing it. I think that's pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll pull it down just a little bit. Yeah, that's better. It still looks a little... It, the reason that I don't always do this is because it doesn't look as realistic as if you if you had done it using channels. But uh, for a case like this, since I don't have a scan on black background, this is, this is about the best I can do. But it still looks really good. So I'm going to click OK there. That looks good. Turn back on my levels. And actually, that's looking a little too right now. So I'm going to pull that back down just a tiny bit. And um, I think that looks pretty good. So we're done with that. If you have any questions, um, just let me know. Uh, you can email me at ben at scouthistory.net. And um, I'll try to help you if I can. Thanks.